No more excuses. The head of Shelby County Juvenile Court tonight telling Sheriff Floyd Bonner his office must provide better care for children in jail. Thank you for joining us. I'm Joy Redmond. I'm Joe Birch. Juvenile Court Judge Tarek Sugarman joins 10 nonprofit agencies accusing Sheriff Floyd Bonner and SCSO of denying young offenders parental visits, quality education, and activities outside in the sun. Action News 5's Joyce Peterson explains. The kids in custody right now, what's their typical day like? Shelby County Juvenile Court Judge Tarek Sugarman says the Shelby County Sheriff's Office hasn't allowed in-person visitation at the Juvenile Justice and Education Center in four years. The judge calling it harmful to children and the community at large in this letter sent Wednesday to the Black Clergy Collaborative of Memphis. Days after, the BCCM and nine other nonprofits sent this letter to Sheriff Bonner, listing four major problems at the new $30 million juvie jail. No in-person parental visits, no access to quality education, no time spent outside, and no advocacy groups allowed to meet with the kids. Are you rehabilitating or are you just keeping them stuck? Brandy J. Flynn, a mental health specialist who started her career working in a residential facility for children, says kids in custody need human contact with loved ones, daily schooling, and fresh air, sunshine, and exercise to successfully rehabilitate. From the parents, to the doctors, to the therapists, to the educators, to the recreational therapists, it takes everybody to really be involved in implement ways for the child to become better. You don't want them to feel like they're in a dungeon. During an exclusive tour before the jail opened up last year, Assistant Chief Takitha Tuggle looked forward to more classrooms and more outdoor activities. Today, SCSO says it doesn't have enough staff to care for the 110 kids currently held there. Right now, uh, the population at Juvenile Court is a challenge for us. I think our actual numbers were uh, planned or projected to be around 60 or so. So to have 100 uh, or more than 100 kids in, in custody presents a different challenge for us. Judge Sugarman doesn't buy it. Population size is not an excuse, he wrote. The center is below maximum capacity, which is 144. He went on to say only 50 to 60 percent of students have been allowed to attend school. We desire 90 to 95 percent. Unless SCSO makes changes quickly, Brandy Flynn says hope dims for the children the center is supposed to help. If they're just stuck, then that's what they're going to be, continue to be stuck. And once they are released, best to believe, nine times out of 10, they're going to come back and may come back worse than they did the first time they was there. Juvenile court ordered SCSO to resume in-person visits in February. But tonight, SCSO says it is still waiting for information about who should be allowed to visit. And virtual visitation, not yet available because the SCSO staff has to be trained on the technology. Reporting in Memphis, Joyce Peterson, Action News 5.